see what happens. Anybody with predictions for what our opponent is going to run today? Bell's internet won't let me watch, so I got to bounce. Sorry, dude. Hang tough. Whoa, 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 hanging tooth. What the heck kind of name was that? <laughs> oh, man. Look out. It's a two-lander. Oh, our opponent left. We're out. I'm not sticking around to play the AI. It takes forever. They crew vehicles poorly. Not worth it. Not worth it. Let's try again. Reboot. Reboot. I guess they're going to make it a little harder than it has to be. Entropy says, Artifacts was probably one of my most played decks in duels. There's a lot of ways of building it. Yeah, it's complicated. Not my fave. More of a yonder special, but... I got it. I got it shoved in my face. People wanted it. I am trying to be a servant of the people. Sometimes you all want ridiculous things. Sometimes I can't make you happy. Sometimes I'm unqualified. But... Sometimes, I don't know, we're up against the Lone Wolf 76. I know I've played this person many times. It's not Wolfinator, though. Wolfinator is Wolfinator. We're going to keep this because we have a mana leak and we have... We've got the touch! We got the power! Yeah! <laughs> Probably no turning on uh, the touch music today, but we'll see. Sometimes you just can't resist. Like if uh, if the touch threatens to go lethal, I don't know how I could turn it down. You got the heart. Yeah, you got the motion. Um, Thalia, I've got to think about Thalia, so we'll lead with this here fair and this here vile. Don't like being behind the glory bound eight ball, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, and there's a card to deal with it. You know that when things get too tough, you got the touch. And there you go. Well, I've done this before. I got Ben there before. That is an annoying one, though. We can go Harvester into Schemer and then kill it. I don't know. Ooh, battle. What's the play? I mean, these are hitting for equal damage right now, so killing one's the same as killing the other, but I feel like holding up Rebuke for Gideon is smart, so I think we're probably going to push this and hold up Rebuke, and then untap battle and try to go from there. Hopefully we can do, like, Whirler Rogue, Stabilize, or... We could just make a 5-5. Five five. Sounds bad, though. He's probably going to die. Like I said, I feel like he's just going to Gideon me if he's on the god curve, right? Um, hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should use this now or wait to see if Blossoming Defense is going to happen. I guess he might go for an Always Watching. So... Let's see what he does. Uh, if I get Blossoming Defense for this, that's my bad, but I do still get to untap with Battle and Schemer, so I have other ways to work if if that does happen. I'll feel really silly also if he turns out to be a Renegade Rallyer deck. All right, he's gonna play that card, so we'll push right now. But I don't need to count this. Uh, Bridge gets around it, Tezzeret gets around it. 
Tells us he probably is lacking a blossoming defense. Might miss a land drop. All right. I would love a basic land. I would love a basic land. You're not basic, but I can make it work, sort of. I mean, it's gonna come in tapped. That's a, so obnoxious. Or I could do the 5-5. Five five. Here's a 5-5. Five five. Hmm. Nah, I think I gotta kill this. Although I'm very worried about getting Gideon for it, but I suppose if I get Gideon, oh, if I had the Harvester down and I got Gideon, I could touch kill it. So maybe, let's see. So is playing Harvester here the right call? Because then, whatever he does, we kind of have a sneaky way. Yeah, because we can just kill a Gideon then. We'll take five, we'll untap. We can play Tezzeret, kill this. Except then that dies to, no, it doesn't die to the spirit. I guess it depends what he does with his turn. We also have Whirler Rogue, but first we have to zap this. This is really tough. This is like one of the weirdest, toughest spots I've been in. I'm gonna go this route, and I'm gonna count on no Gideons. If he has Blossoming Defense, I will be floored. Because he didn't have it when I pushed the glory uh, bound initiate and he didn't even think about it like he didn't even hesitate that would be such a sick play if he did have it I would give a lot of props uh, Gomlet's here hello welcome oh Gideon nope it's not Gideon it is a very good creature it is a very good creature so we need to get up to three artifacts and have Tezzeret deal if I draw a land off the top, I can do Rogue and hold up a Rebuke. But this is going to be rough. We drew the land. Okay. But I can't hold up a Rebuke because it's a swamp. What if I make a 5-5? Five five? I can't protect it. A lot could go wrong. I could use my Egg and slow this down for a turn. I could play Tezzeret and make a cell, and that would be rebuke worthy, but then Tezzeret would die. I could play Tezzeret, take down and kill the spirit, and then Tezzeret would die. I think it's gotta be the rogue. It sucks to not leave rebuke up, but I think it's gotta be the rogue. Hoping to play Tezzeret next turn after taking a big bump. It at least holds back the Selfless Spirit. It at least puts that on blast and gains life from the fair. Uh, nothing announced, Gomlet. Nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, if only it had been an island. We're getting, we're getting lit up now, boys and girls. This is getting ugly. This is getting ugly. All right. If I block here, it's a trade. And then I only have two artifacts. But he doesn't have indestructible. But I don't have anything that worries about that. I can chump here. Take six. I think that's it. Hmm. Ugh, <laughs> this is a beating. Still trying to find our way back in. It might be time for the touch. We're at nine, we're going up to 10. I think it is. There's another land. If we put the touch on this, we can kill Nyssa and have a blocker back. And we have Rebuke. Or we could play Harvester. But the way he's going, and we know he probably has more spells because he missed a land drop, I think Rebuke has got to be it. Here we go. We've got the touch. Here we go again. 
We got the power. Yeah. And now we finally got rebuke open. It's been a long road to this. But can we turn it around? We've got three artifacts. If we can keep it in that range, Tezzeret can kill Gisela. Um, crap. <laughs> uh, but I guess it's just a little body. The vial's ready for that. <laughs> hey, I said Gideon, but bye-bye. Finish. At least we did stop a Planeswalker. It wasn't the Gideon. It was a Gideon. Wow. No value on your selfless? God, I want to block it so much, but... I'm just going to gain the life. Like, I lose the Inventor's Fair. I lose the ability to tick Tezzeret down. I have one less body to defend Tezzeret, so it's a bad idea. All right, Tezzeret. Time to earn your pay. And Inventor's Fair, get me out of here. All right. Now well, we've got a good turn next turn. You know that when things get too tough, you got the touch. That's the other Tezzeret's touch. That's the bad touch. That's the Tezzeret bad touch right there you, you witnessed. Right through Gisela. Ooh, ooh, Johnny, no! No, Johnny, no! Jesus Christ. Well, at least he's ticking up, not down. And hits another Thalia. Puts a Declaration in Stone on the bottom. That's good, as we are barely hanging on over here. Anybody want to come over this time? That's what I thought. Freaking the John John. All right. Nice. You are the draw. Yes, you are. You are the draw. All right. King. Go ahead. Make him indestructible. Do not care. Ping. Oh, Tezzeret. Oh, Tezzeret, I love you. You have carried me, carried me to control, perhaps. I mean, it's still two cards to two cards, but our board is way ahead now, and we're on the comeback. We are definitely rolling the comeback. Green, white, plains, walkery, good stuff. All rares and mythics. All rares and mythics. It's green, white, rares and mythics. Oh my lord. Well, that's not bad. He's still going. He is still going. We are not out of the woods. We're 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 not out of the woods. Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the clear yet? In the clear yet? Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gonna need a Sky Sovereign. I think that's where I'm tutoring eventually, but I don't have to rush. Looking at it now, it all seems so simple. What's the play? What's the play? Ooh, what's the play? Well, you're gonna die. That's my. That's what I'm saying. The question is how. We'll give him a chance to block bad. In before Bruna, dear God. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. I gotta get my cards out of my hand before I get Bruna. That's a good call. Um, if I have Zoa on the table, though. I have Ballista Zoa. That can be really good. Take you down. Take you down. Get that Thalia gone out of my life. Play you. 
The idea being to bounce the ballista and to keep making, to keep recharging the ballista with more and more mana. The clue is cracking. <laughs> what a battle. Seventh land. It could be a Bruna. Entropy is right. And that would be just the kind of draw I'd expect right now. That's been the way this whole game has gone. Ooh, he's coming at me. What's that mean? Wrath of God? Let's find out. Blossoming Defense. Could have pinged it to kill it first, but nah. Just lose the Zoa. I mean, I'm glad to get that out of there. I, and it, I mean, it wasn't the greatest blossoming defense either. So, it's fine. Bye bye, Zoa. I'll live. Maybe I'm just not a fan of that card, but I don't think I need that combo to win this. So, the best way to deal with a Brazella would be to have that many artifacts on the battlefield. So, I should just play out my hand. Let's play you. This could be a Blessed Alliance. Could also be that. Oh, doesn't matter what it is now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, play Harvester. Oh, he leaves the game. Oh, okay. We did it. We did it. This is green white. I don't know. I'm going to put humans because I have a humans column on my spreadsheet, but that was obviously like all the green white rares. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, if he has Bruna in his deck, you don't scoop yet. He didn't even get to see the Herald. He didn't get to see the Herald. He scooped. Scooped. Scooped it straight up to Alchemist Vile. Probably sick of me thinking, though. Probably felt like he was way behind and was sick of me thinking. Yeah, GG. We were under pressure. We had a, I don't know, our draw got a little clunky. Rematch! Rematch hype! Okay. Gonna need more lands. Okay. See if he can god draw that again. Whoa! Switch decks! Switch decks! Hello, cheese. Now the last card will be mystery that will eventually drive me insane to guess it. It wasn't good. I like you can know that, Thelona. You know it it wasn't a land, but you know it wasn't good. <laughs> It might have been, let's see, would collective effort have made sense? Nah, he would have blown up Tezzeret's touch. Oh, now we're running wolves? Switch to wolves. All right, all right. The wolf man cometh. Um, very tempting to just ballista. Also very tempting to vile. I'm going to vile, because then maybe I go ballista, hold up rebuke next turn. Another vile. All right. <laughs> vile into vile rebuke into spy net, or into two point ballista. Let's see how see how aggressive we are. I mean, is it the call of the full moon? That's what I'm wondering. That would be that would make it a mistake for me. Opponent hitting the deck swap. Yeah, the uh, remix of Tezzy hasn't lost yet. Jeez, we're uh, but we're six and zero. So small sample size. 6-0 is good, though. Not to be taken for granted. Oh, he's gonna flip. Gonna go flip. Must have something at instant speed here. Drew the perfect card. What can you do? I think I'm still gonna hold up the rebuke. So if you're ever in that spot where you see the uh, second artifact with the one blue open coming into play, and you have a spell you want to cast, cast it right there to play around the rebuke. But they have no spell on their turn, so maybe there's just nothing going on. I will definitely take a bump here to hold this up through the turn in case I'm countering Arling Cord or something ridiculous. What do we got? Partisan? Oh, that's gotta go, right? So whenever it becomes the target of an instant or sorcery, put 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's gotta go. That is one of the ways that this deck can get out of hand with the perfect kind of draw. So we gotta stop that. 
We gotta shut that down. I know, opponent with the deck swap. You don't see them every day. That's not, not an everyday thing. Going straight to the wolf pack. Says, I got, if I'm rolling with CGB, I gotta be running the wolf pack. I mean, to be fair, should see it coming. It's Lone Wolf. Nissa threw us a curveball with uh, black white tokens earlier, but this, the name is Lone Wolf. Come on now. Um, bow, 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 bow. So, God, I want to play this spy network. Just have it out there. But it's not like I won't get to cast it later. It, it, it really isn't. But, ugh, I kind of just want to take another hit and get this online. Because the sooner we start making tokens, I just feel like the sooner we start winning. So I want to use all my mana, I want to be super mana efficient, and just get things cooking on the token token train. We're at 15. I just I don't believe he can punch me that hard. At, at worst, I figured he'd have that haste wolf and I'd be at 9 or something like that. And I figured 9 would be totally stabilizable with an inventor's fair and a harvester and a fatal push. So... That's why we're doing it the way we're doing it. Our opponent got the Dusk Watch. Oh boy. So that's a bit of value. That's a bit of value. We've got the touch. We got the power. Um, Harvester may be too bold, whereas Ballista will get value for sure. If it gets shot or something, we'll just throw it at one of the wolves. And when he taps out to search, I will push this wolf. And that will give me two spells, which will flip this wolf back. So we're going to say go. He's going to tap out. He's going to search. We're going to push this. This will flip back. And then we can kill it with the ballista. And life is good. So we'll let him make his choices here. He chooses that thing, which isn't very good. Now we zap that. Yeah, Entropy sees it too. Yep. So that's where we're at. Yeah, get flipped over. There you go. One, like, sick play. We could have targeted this with the ability on the stack, and he'd have had to respond. If he wanted to save this, he'd have had to respond with a pump spell right then. It also plays around the top of his deck, so that may have been a should have, could have. In fact, I like it so much, it's probably a should have, could have. Pause, pause, pause. All right. I'm going to try pinging now. Check him for a pump spell. Blossoming defense. Okay. We're at 12, so I'm just going to chump it with a thopter then. I'll kill it later. And he's got the ability that's just going to kill the thopter but that's fine he's still blocked fair gains a life spy network makes a dude harvester tezzeret's touch is what i think is going to happen i'm going to send in the ballista to draw a card with spy net and what is i mean <sighs> God, if this were Infamous Gemini, he would have Lightning Axe, and it would kill the Harvester Tez with the Tezzeret's Touch on it. So maybe I don't want to go Harvester Touch. Maybe I want to touch a Vile. I mean, that way, if something happens to it, I still gain the life. So, All right. So you into play. And I still draw the card. Yep. All right. So we'll touch a vial instead of the harvester. Just to play a little bit around removal. And that's enough for the lone wolf. The lone wolf went back, got the pack, brought the pack with him, but was still unable to hang with the artifacts. With Tezzeret and his touch. Anybody else overly impressed by the Tezzeret touch?